Hello and welcome to the very first tutorial on Cake PHP. Now, uh, this is um, the framework that I've been working with uh, for almost uh, eight to nine months now, and I think this is one of the coolest framework. So, I thought um, I'll make a tutorial on Cake PHP, uh, which uh, will let others also learn this. Um, now, I have seen a lot of people complaining about the naming conventions of Cake PHP. And, and at times it can be really really confusing but um, if you're doing things in the cake way of uh, as, as, the, as defined by cake um, a lot of things get really really easy and uh, it is actually it becomes really fast and the power of uh, console also gives you a lot of advantage so we'll be talking about the things that you have to keep in mind when you start off with a cake PHP project We'll also be talking about the naming conventions. We'll also be talking about um, associations and things like that. So the first thing that you, have, you got to do is uh, download the latest version of Cake PHP. Now uh, I have uh, downloaded the version which is 2.2.1, which is a stable version, and then I've uh, put that into a into the WAMP directory. Uh, this is a zip file. I've unzipped that. Then I've renamed that to get this file. I mean, the, get this folder called the Cake. So. <coughs> this this is a files um, this is my cake application now now if you look at the uh, folders in cake PHP uh, application you can see a lot of files and folders and 90 percentage of the time you won't be working with uh, these files I mean the files that I've selected and uh, this these files over here inside the folder app are the files which you will be messing around with so most of you might be knowing that um, cake PHP is an MVC architecture which means it has a con it has a model um, it has views and controller now uh, what are model what are views and what are controllers we'll see that soon okay now the now before um, starting off with the naming conventions let me just uh, clarify you with the folder structure so this is a basic folder structure where you have an app folder lib folder I mean NB project folder is not a cake folder but it is basically um, the folder that NetBeans creates when I create a project so uh, forget about this folder that is NB project this is the NetBeans folder so you won't be having that when you download the cake um, cake um, zip file then you have the uh, plugins and vendors and a set of other files um, it is highly discouraged that um, you you edit any of the files um, you might need to add some files into vendors um, but then and plugins also uh, uh, most probably 90% um, of the time you won't be working with the files but then you will have to work with uh, most of the files um, inside this folder uh, that is app um, this is a config folder where you define a lot of things um, you can define the database in this folder then you can um, route um, uh, the route um, cake PHP application that is the way um, for example uh, routing is basically used um, for creating um, URLs that um, is, uh, is according to what you want say um, you want to have um, um, search engine friendly URLs um, so you can route that or a defined um, kind of URL you want and you can do that inside route.php um, acl.php acl.ini.php all that will be dealing later uh, basically ACL is something which uh, deals with permission um, which are uh, we will just leave or forget for the time being console console is um, is again of uh, uh, the the thing that gives cake PHP the thing that makes cake PHP so very powerful is console um, you can do a lot of uh, things or uh, create application in minutes with the help of console um, again we won't be looking uh, into that uh, then it has a model controller and view um, yeah that's it and plugins um, again if you have a uh, third-party tools you can put that in plugins uh, you can ins put it in plugin and then um, use um, the functionality of that plugin yeah uh, with that said uh, we'll just go to cake uh, I mean NetBeans and then open the folder um, over here now before going into that we'll also be I'll also um, open a cake application which I have already been doing so um, yeah so as I said earlier um, cake basically has model views and controllers okay 
now basically model views and controllers um, divide your PHP code and place it in different places um, and uh, all the thing that these three things does is basically deals with the table so for example if I have a table um, so I'm just opening my PHP my admin um, so if you uh, I'm just opening PHP my admin and uh, I think this is the from the the database that is um, connected with the application that I just showed you uh, with the application web dir okay so over here if you take um, the table called users uh, the table users will have a model view and a set I mean a model controller and a set of views to handle um, the data that is present inside this table that is users so if you come over here um, go to controllers um, you can see the control over here this is a users controller um, yeah I'll just open this users controller okay now this is a users controller now um, over here you can see that um, the the first naming convention um, starts uh, naming convention starts right away when you design a table inside um, cake uh, application so um, the first thing I have to do is to uh, to define the table so um, I'll have to name the table so whenever you name a table in cake PHP make sure that you're always going for the plural form which means you are not supposed to um, use a singular form that is user instead you have to use a plural form which is users okay now if you look at the tables over here you can notice that um, it is all always plural form uh, so categories um, groups homes test permissions question answers um, test questions so everything that you see over here is in the plural form okay so that's the first rule in cake PHP the second rule is um, it's about creating a controller in cake PHP so if you want to create a controller for a particular table say users um, you need to create a file inside controller which is having um, the name um, of the table in the plural form appended to that you need to have a controller dot php so so if I want to create a controller for the users table this is how it will look so users controller dot php say I want to create um, categories so if you look at the categories controller you can see it, see it like that so you have the categories um, in the plural form and then you have controller appended to that um, it's a PHP file so dot PHP so if you open this um, users controller you can see uh, that users controller is basically a, a class with uh, with the name of the class um, with the name of the class uh, is, uh, is going to be the table name and then appended to that you will have controllers so once you have done that uh, you'll also have to extend the controller with another controller which is called as the app controller this is uh, something which you don't have to define cake PHP will already be having that so um, if you want to define a controller for a particular table what you have to do is create a class which is uh, which was having the name of the table uh, with the controller appended to that and then you have to extend that with app controller and we will have a la large number of functions or methods uh, I'm not sure how people different people call it different way I call it methods so you have a lot of methods inside um, the controller we'll talk about that later so we have defined um, a, a controller then now, now the next thing we need to do is to define a model so if you look at um, if you look if you look at the models uh, folder over here which is present inside app and then um, inside model um, you can see that there is something called uh, users okay now if you if you look at the model if you look at the model for user you can see that model is always in the singular form you don't have the s f after r so um, it is always in the singular form so that is one thing you have to keep in mind so if you look at every model over here you can see that it's all all in the singular form you don't have um, you don't have categories you just have category so that's always in the singular form now if you open um, the control I mean the model for uh, for uh, for users you can see that it's also a class which extends app model okay it is a name of the class I mean the name of the table um, with name of the table in the singular form and that table 
will be extended to another table called the app model okay okay now um, it is inside model that you define a set of validations you can define a set of validations for the different columns uh, of fields that are present inside um, inside the table um, you can define associations um, say like belongs to um, a dollar has many and uh, things like that so um, how do we define validations and how do we define association we'll be talking in another, in another tutorial so we just um, you know you just keep in mind that uh, model is a place where we define validations and associations so um, this is a user's model um, so you have a, a validation a set of validation that is defined over here and then you have a set of associations like um, users belongs to group so which means users table belongs to our um, our uh, you know like um, users table is connected to groups table um, that's what it means so we'll be seeing more of uh, uh, associations in the next tutorial so that is um, that is about um, the models now the next thing we have to keep in mind is uh, about views so if you go to uh, the folder called views inside app inside a uh, view uh, you will have a folder which is called the users again you, you the folder inside view has to be in the plural form and then if you expand that you can see a lot of um, files okay now uh, the, uh, you might have noticed that um, the files doesn't extend I mean end with the PHP extension um, in in cake PHP um, the view files are basically files with an extension called CTP or a cake template file oh, I'm not sure what that is um, cake template okay um, so this is going to be a CTP file or a template file cake template file um, so it doesn't have a PHP extension so if you open a PH uh, if you open a template um, I mean a, a view you can see that um, you can see that this is basically HTML files and then you can see we are echoing some things over here now how do we define a, a, a template so for that we have to go to the controller for users so say you have um, as I told you earlier inside um, the users controller which is a class um, which has been extended to another class called app controller you will have a lot of methods or you will have a lot of functions so every function in cake PHP can have a view or it is not mandatory that you all my always must have a view but then every function can have a view so if you if you look at the function over here public uh, function index you will see a another you'll see um, a, a view which is uh, called index.cdp so so what this basically does is it takes uh, the parameters that are um, set inside this um, for example we can set different variables inside this uh, function or method and then that variables will be available inside this index.cdp so maybe I just confused you a little bit um, just for the time being understand that every um, every user method can have a views and if you want you can uh, run this particular function and then show the details of this particular function in this particular view in the corresponding view okay um, I think this is too much for the first tutorial um, if you don't understand any of the any of the things what I said uh, please do comment below and do subscribe if you like. Thank you.